Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing an AC recharge for my car, mainly because when I replaced my radiator, and I'm sorry for how loud the car sounds, probably shouldn't have it on right now, but um, when I replaced my radiator, I had to let all my AC come out. Um, it was just a newbie mistake, but I mean, I might as well completely recharge my AC. So I got this AC Pro Kit. It was like $35 from Amazon, it's not that bad. Um, and yeah, let's just show you guys how we're going to use this thing. Okay. All right, guys, so at this point, I'm checking the temperature. It says it's around 71 outside right now. Yeah. So right now, I'm trying to find 71, because that's what it says on my watch, how, uh, how you know, the weather outside right now. So that's around 71 right there. Um, you want to get that black gauge in between the two giant uh, red arrows. The mini one needs to be on 71, because that's the temperature that's out right now. Um, I prefer, you know, this is probably better. You guys want to do this at night so it stays in the green zone regardless. If you do it during the day when it's super hot, you're risking a little bit of a, a leak or something. So just stay in the green. You'll be good. Again, once you put this on your car, you're going to want to hold this down um, until this black arrow is in between the two giant red arrows. All right, guys, so this is your high line. You're supposed to do it off your high line, not your low line. Your low line's on the other side. All you want to do is unscrew this. Put it somewhere where you won't lose it. I usually put my stuff up here because I, I don't forget it. So I'm gonna put it right over here. Oh. All right guys, so once you put it in there, this thing ends up splitting up. Um, it's not a screw or anything, you just put it in there, it'll separate, and the way that you pull it back out is by literally pulling this back down. So you just put it on there, push it, and it spreads apart. So that's when you know it's in there. Now, you wanna make sure, I'm gonna look at the temperature again, it's 71. Make sure it's on 71, and now I'm gonna hold down the, the gas. Hold this. Push the. Yeah, push the engage, I already pushed it. So now I'm just gonna hold this down and wait till that black, uh, what's it called, black arrows in between the two reds. If you're completely drained out, it's gonna take around two minutes, so just hold it out for two minutes, shake the can constantly, and um, just, you know, after two minutes, check the gauge again. All right, guys, if you look at the gauge right now, it's still all the way down there. That's perfectly normal. Once I release the trigger, it should pop out where it needs to be. So I'm going to release the trigger right now. You can see the black gauge is somewhere up here, but it's still not between the air. So I'm going to hold it down and give it another minute. And uh, just keep checking. Every 30 seconds or a minute, check if it's in between the two uh, red lines. And you should be good after that. All right, I'm going to put the... So, guys, we're almost there. Stop that, look at the gauge, releasing the gauge. All right, so the gauge is still not even in there. So I'm gonna give it another 30 seconds and I'll get back to you guys. All right, All right guys, so at this point, we, we end up using the whole can. You just keep your trigger on it. Um, give it every like two to three minutes, release off the trigger. This is a 20 ounce can. So if you use a 20 ounce can, just use the entire thing. Um, and yeah, but just give it like, give it two minutes, take a break for a second, give it another two minutes, give it a break until you use the entire can. You wanna shake the can and you'll feel like right now I have no more coolant left inside of it. And when I release, you guys can see it's still low. That's just mainly because the car needs all 24 and this only has 20 ounces in there. So we know that we used up the entire can. We can take this to our local auto parts zone, uh, store, whatever it is, and they're gonna give us $10. They're gonna give us $10 for the can, mainly because this is like, uh, it's, it's toxic or whatever. So if you bring back the can, they give you $10 back, which is a lot of money. Um, and you can use that $10 to go purchase the rest of the four ounces that you need to fully charge your AC. Now the good thing about this one is that it came with the, it came with the actual, what is this thing called? Reusable hose and gauge. So this thing is reusable. You just take it off and put it into any other can to test out the gauge. It's fairly easy. I'm actually really, really shocked at how easy it was for me to do my AC. Guys, this is so crazy. My car was never had this cold of an AC. This is just mind boggling to me how I literally, this is the easiest thing you could ever do your BMW. Super, super easy. Don't ever let people, you know, charge you just hundred dollars just to do this. Wow, I mean, honestly, I would just want to recharge my AC every couple years. Like this leak, thankfully it happened. This is so cold. So honestly, I'm happy with that. I'm probably not gonna get another can. I'm just gonna return this can and keep the gauge and just unscrew the gauge. I'm gonna close the AC real quick. Close the car. So I'm gonna take off the gauge real quick. This is something I'm gonna reuse and keep. This, I'm gonna take it back and uh, get my money's worth back. So if you guys did enjoy this video, smash that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, baby. I need you to see me. 
up with the front and then put your go down Girl, we know you ain't easy She got me saying, y'all love, baby I need you to see me Quit with the front and then put your go down Girl, we know you ain't easy You know